In this training movie, I'm going to show you how to draw in steps. So first of all, before you start drawing, you should decide in your mind basically where you want the steps to go and how you want them to go there. For example, let's say I want the steps to come out straight here, and then I want them to turn to my right, going in this direction here, and I think there's going to be one step here, one step here, and there'll be a third landing down here and probably another step. Also keep in mind too, you may want to have the walking area slightly graded down so you're going to save in steps. However you build them is up to you. My job is to teach you how to do it in the program. So the first thing you may want to do before you get started is to set the scale of the image. Remember scale is relative but if you have it set your pavers are going to come in to relatively the same size which just saves you a little bit of time. So what you do is you go up here to tools and then click on measure image. You see that the cursor is turned into this measuring tape. What you need to do is pick two points that you know the distance of. So for example between the end of this gate here and this post I know that's about six feet. So I'll click with my mouse, move the measuring tape to the second point here, click again, the uh, measuring units come up here, you just type in here six and click OK and now the scale is set. Okay, so let's start drawing. We go up here to the drawing tools, click on that icon. I'm going to use the polygon draw, which is the default again. And I'm going to have the steps come off at the same level as this deck here. So I click here and I'm going to hold down the shift key to get a straight line and click at this point here. And then I want them to come out in this direction here. And I want them to come back about like this maybe and then back up to the deck so I click that point. Now I may want to adjust this because I know this is going to be a little bit wider in perspective on this side here so I'm just going to drag it out a little bit there. So now I've got that set I click on Greenscapes Library. I already had it set for the pavers that I want. I'm going to use basket weave pattern because it does show the uh, horizontal and vertical lines much better than other patterns. So I click on the pattern there and then I want to line up these pavers with this um, walkway that I just built. So I'm going to click on free here so it frees up the handles and I'm just going to drag the perspective handles so they line up with the edge of what I've drawn. As you can see that's about it. So if I'm satisfied with that I'm going to move on. So I click OK to exit the menu. Now I want to draw the face of the step here. This is going to give it the illusion of a step down. So I'm going to go up to the drawing tools. I'm going to use the square rectangle drawing tool right now because I want this to be pretty much straight across, straight down, and straight uh, along the bottom. So everything is rectangular and square for me. Then I'm going to go back into Greenscapes library. And one of the main reasons I use this particular paver is because it does have it in basket weave herringbone and a running bond pattern. So I'm I'm going to select on the running bond pattern here and I'm going to scale it so that I have just about two uh, pavers going across here. So I need to scale this up a little bit more. And we also want to make sure that our pavers going across are about the same size as the pavers um, on the top here. They're a little small, but we'll move the size up a little bit more. Again, you don't have to be exact because we're just creating the illusion. So that looks good to me. I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to draw the second step here. So I'm going to draw the area going down in this direction. So again, we go into our drawing tools. We're going to match up with the bottom of the step here. And because it's straight, I'm holding down the shift key. And then I want this step to kind of angle off in this direction. It's going to be coming back like, say this and going back up to here. So now we go to Greenscapes library and a shortcut instead of clicking on basket weave but it's already there but so you remember this shortcut go up here to grab pattern and I'll just grab the pattern off the top uh, platform that I did there then we want to adjust the perspective again so we'll grab the perspective handles turn it around the direction we want it to look and then we want to scale those up so we scale it. That looks about right there. So we're done. We click OK. And now again we want to draw a face on this one. So again we go to the drawing tools and we want to draw along the front 
line of this uh, landing area here and again I want this to be straight so I'm holding down the shift key and then I'm going to bring this over this direction now this is where you need to start using your eye because this is not going to be straight on we need a little bit of perspective on this one meaning it's going to be a little bit taller on this side than this side not much but you can see what I'm talking about here in a second so again we go back into the library we're going to use the shortcut grab pattern we're going to grab that running bond pattern now we need to adjust the perspective on this running bond pattern so again I'll click on walls and I'm going to bring this perspective handle up so it's matching the bottom here and bring this one down so it's matching on the top and again we need to scale it up a bit it's about right there so I click OK and we're going to draw one more landing area here and then we're going to get into shadowing now for the final landing area we're just going to knock this one out pretty quick because it's actually going off the screen so I'm just going to draw it down here at the bottom of the screen again go back into green skeps library click grab pattern adjust the perspective we need to click on free to free up those handles Now you find I had to move the perspective handles because I drew off the screen. It does throw you off a little bit because you don't have anything to line it up with over on this side. But that well, looks pretty good to me. So we're set on scale. We'll click OK. Now this is the part that makes it look more realistic. You'll notice that it kind of looks flat right now. First of all, we'll need to draw in the sides of, say, this step here and maybe a little bit on this one here to give it more of a three-dimensional effect. So let's do that first. Again, we go into the drawing tools, holding the shift key to get this line straight. And I want these, let's say it's going to go back. Well, it's going to be something like that. And then again, we'll go into grab pattern. Go to walls, lining up the perspective handles with the edge here. You're not going to see this one too much, but maybe I should have drawn it more of an angle to show you that. But the bottom line here is you want to have a side here because you're going to be looking at these pavers from the side there's going to be something there to see you just don't want graphs going all the way up to this edge here let's do it on this one here and see if that turns out a little bit better you want to get underneath this part here because it's not going to be going back at a weird angle like that so again we'll grab the uh, running bond pattern go to walls bring this handle down and this handle up matching it up with the edge of what you've drawn and again, you don't see that one too well. But hopefully you get the idea of that. But still, to make them look good, what it needs is shadowing. So I'm going to put a shadow on this front step here. So I'm going to click on this step. Now this is a shortcut trick um, that you could do for shadows. Because you could draw the shadow in, but if you want it to be exactly like what you've got here, this is the trick. You click on the area, then you go up here to Duplicate. You'll see you got the duplication uh, cursor here. So you click once to duplicate it. Then you right click to stop duplication. Then you click on shadow. So that created a shadow the exact size that you need. If you want to make it darker now, you right click and we'll change this one from 25 to say 33. And we made that shadow a little bit darker. We're going to do the same thing on this one. So again, we click on it. We duplicate it. We right click to stop duplication, we click shadow, we'll move it into place. Then we want to right click again and we'll make this one 33 also. And if you want to do a shadow on the edge here, if you saw it better, you probably would do a shadow on it. But again, we'll just duplicate, right click, shadow. I'm using the arrow keys to move this around and get into position. And we're going to do the same thing over on this side. Again, duplicate, click, right click, shadow. Let's zoom out. 
So basically, that's how you do it. So now we're going to dress this up a little bit. Say you want to put some grass in here to uh, landscape this area. Again, we're going to go into the Define Area tools, and I'm just going to draw around this real quick and edit this out. As you can see, I've drawn in the area where I want to place grass, but I've drawn over the steps. We're not going to worry about that because we can always send it to the back. So we're going to get our grass, on grass number seven, adjust the perspective a little, scale it down, and now I click OK. To put the grass behind the steps, we go up here and click on Send to Back. You can see it was much better and simpler than drawing around the steps um, and trying to get it exact. You just put it all over the place and put the steps on the top of it. So I'll throw in a little landscaping. Basically, we're done. You would click the Save icon to save your project.